right, guys, welcome back to another episode of <clears throat> uh, Going Medieval. So today we're going to be working on some extra things. I wanted to get uh, some more stuff mined out, uh, so this will be really important to progress a little bit. I still haven't f taken any time to figure out how to actually fill this all in with water. We will eventually, though. Uh, I've been slowly wanting to kind of branch out to this side over here. And that will allow us to um, get a little bit more room for houses and other buildings and stuff like that. Because we're pretty much packed with room at the moment. We have a little bit of room over here, but not a whole lot. I want to leave a little bit of space over on this side so we can put a gate and stuff too. So we're not going to be able to really do that. Holy stink, look at all those wolves down there. Really need to go hunting today, I think. And yeah, so we have all this room on this side. That's like tons of room to build and stuff, which is great. We can't really build too much this way, but we can't build that way. We can't below, build below, but we can go this way. So uh, that's like the goal, at least. Um, probably have to take care of that those wolves, though, and deal with them. Because they can attack the dogs. Uh, it's not as common anymore, but still rather make sure our dogs are okay. And what else? I saw a fox around here as well, so there's a fox there. Probably a few other foxes, no doubt. Probably some polecats. Yeah, there's a couple more foxes there. Uh, polecat, so. Yeah, we definitely got some hunting to do today. Uh, pole cats aren't dangerous. I don't think foxes are dangerous to our animals, but wolves are for sure. So we'll have to deal with them. Uh, last episode, what did we work on last episode? I think we built that, the um, armor, and finished working on the barn, if I remember correctly. So for our chickens. We have quite a bit of chickens now, and our cows are doing a lot better, so they gave birth to another cow. Or a calf, I think. That's what they're called. And I wouldn't mind, like, if we do build our gate over here, I wouldn't mind putting the market right directly here. Um, close to the gate. I think that would look really good. So, might need to do that. I've been thinking about it for a while, so just I'm just trying to figure out how I'm going to end up doing that.
Alright, so... I'm gonna send out North, I think. Uh, where is North? What is he doing at the moment? He is going over here to harvest some stuff. That can pretty much wait. We can probably send Sylvester and North over to deal with the wolves. Uh, they're pretty good with working together, so... Uh, we can go up on this ridge, I think, and deal with some of them. Okay, we've got a heat wave coming in. That's going to make things a little bit harder, I think. <laughs> Actually, we might want to wait. Um, yeah, let's 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 not send them out in the middle of a heat wave. That's probably not the best thing to do. And uh, I don't know where she went hunting. She's out here somewhere. I saw her. Hunting some stuff. Uh, yeah, you probably probably want to go home. No, oh, she's she's gonna be determined to go hunting. All right, you hunt then. Don't think you really want to do that, but yeah, let's let's just uh, cancel that those actions for not domestic wildlife. Uh, we'll just disable the pull cats for now, and then she can. Go do her own thing. Uh, we probably want to turn down the, or even turn off the uh, brazers just for now, so they don't get overheated when they're sleeping. And I think that's there's one over here. We turn that one off. Basically, any brazers that are around. Don't want them getting too hot. Okay, that one. This one. I wish there was an easier way to turn them all off. Oh, wait. Can we actually... Yeah, we can select them and turn them all off. But they need to be in proximity of other ones. So that one's good. Um, yeah, I think that's about all of them. There might be one on the second floor here. Yeah. So we can turn those off. All right. So that should be good for making sure that... Oh, no. There's one in that church as well. Almost forgot. All right. So that should help with the overheating um, a little bit. The less time that they spend outside, the better. But can't really do anything about the mining thing we I just already set all that up so these ones are probably gonna get a little bit overheated but it is what it is I can't really do too much about it
this heat wave is just something nasty. I haven't been able to do too much. Like, I wanted to go hunting today, but it's just, like, way too hot, and I don't want to, like, overheat them. And giving that you have to go out pretty far to hunt these creatures usually. I don't even know where the wolves ended up taking off to. They're somewhere around here. There's one there. A couple polecats. There's a fox eating some mushrooms. Yeah, I'm just trying to keep them close to the base as possible. Most as possible, but um, yeah, it looks like the pack moved over here and now there's like more of them, so at least we'll have more clothing material. Um, yeah, it's just I'm just trying to keep them localized to the uh, base so they can cool down and stuff when needed. Um, I turned off all the brazers and I've just, just been kind of like finding things to keep them busy around the, the base with. Like I told them to tear down that and build the roof up there finally so we can start working on the um, church a little bit more. So at least we can get the roofs done. Uh, today that won't take too long I don't think to do so uh, definitely the oak baron will be done today I'm not sure about this one we might need a little bit more bricks for that in order to um, be a thing but we have more cooking up right now and I think we have enough clay uh, we're doing all right on clay uh, we could always use more but um, again I don't want them to travel too far so they have been mostly focusing on this wall uh, part right here rather than the clay at the moment, so it's understandable, I guess. And, you know, just been kind of telling them to harvest some of the dead stumps, try to get some sticks, and I disabled all the um, regrowth for the tree farm, trying to keep up on making sure that any saplings are harvested that uh, basically spread and stuff so ever so often they might spread and finally could put in that fence that was remaining here we'll probably end up moving the tree farm one block over to this side and that will give us a little bit more room I think like it'll be more even but that can be done during the winter when everything is harvested yeah I think that'll be good all right, so another night, and it's fine. The heat wave is finally over, so we'll be able to go hunting, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, they're just chopping some of the stuff down, the dead shrubs and stuff. And I started research on uh, something else as well, so we'll be able to get furniture level two. Next.
All right, so I think what we're going to end up doing is putting a bridge over on this side as well and probably one right in the middle uh, roughly around here. Uh, that will allow us to have three different points to cross the river um well it'll be kind of more of a lake more or less but we'll end up blocking off this part right here uh so no one can basically get over or in our base and we'll probably fill this in once we know how far we need all this to be mined out and stuff and then the most important thing is to get a wall set up for um our gate and i've been i'm going to build the market over on this side i've i've already determined that so we're going to probably put the uh, like a couple market stalls right in these areas roughly and then they'll be able to easily get directly to their market stalls right from the front gate and we're going to need to kind of plan out uh, how thick we need the walls and stuff like that because I want to make sure that they have enough room to set back from archers and stuff but um, still be able to attack when they need to so and speaking of an attack we got a <laughs> battle uh, three adapt archers um, and seven ground troops Okay, let's make sure everyone gets called in. Uh, we'll do this with this next episode. Actually, you know what? Yeah, I'll just pause the game and next episode what we can do is we can deal with this for sure. But um, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.